Welcome back to game two of this abugames.com feature match. Ryan was able to take game one with his wolf run ramp. Uh, Kyle's going to want to see if he can come back here. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that Kyle's going to be on the play here. Yeah. Let's take a look at his hand. See, Ryan's hand, he's got quite a bit of land, Rampant Grove, Ponder, Farseek. That's kind of a sketchy hand uh, for the ramp deck. The Ponder yeah. makes it a little bit better, a but... Little bit. Looks like both players keep. A bonfire for first draw is never that great. I hate to write it there. Uh, I do know when I was actually watching this game close up, Ryan did... Uh, he didn't see what he took out, but he sided in two Cavern of Souls, two Negate, and one Karn Liberated. So we're going to want to see if those can come out for him. Does gain one. Glimmer Post. Yeah, usually the first thing you board out uh, in this deck is the Temporal Masteries, so it's probably what he took out for the Negates and the Karn. Revolving Wilds off the top for Kyle. See, it looks like double Worm Coil in hand for Kyle. That could be really good for him if you can, if you can avoid any of the Frost Titans mm -hmm. and maybe a, a big bonfire. He should be okay. See, uh, Grippa six drops in Kyle's hand. I don't know, I didn't see a... Did you see another land? I didn't, I didn't see one. Uh, I didn't get a good look, but we do see the Ponder from Brian. I didn't see too many lands in Kyle's opening hand, so he, he might be a little land stuck here, but I think he has a Simon Blood to hopefully try to get it for him. Yeah, this, uh, I think this is a shipper for Brian. Keeping uh, too many ram spells can be pretty dangerous. I mean, he's got the lands and he's got the rampant growth, so I think I don't think you need to keep any of that. Taking it over. It looks like he does decide to keep it. Uh, the one thing, though, is with Kyle's deck, it's obviously not a uh, super fast aggro deck, so it doesn't put the pressure on too quickly. So Brian might have some time to draw something better a little bit later. Um, but still, you're, I do agree with you that too many ramp spells can be pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I'm a huge fan of the ramp decks. I mean, I, mean, I played all of them, Valakut and Wolf Run. And uh, I know that keeping uh, too many ramp and growth is just awful. Let's see, he draws another Ponder here, which is excellent. Cast that ponder. Looks like he does. See Snapcaster, Farsi, Primeval Titan. That's exactly what he wants to see. He wants to see right here. Yeah. Makes that bonfire relevant. You might actually want to draw uh, Primeval Titan second to play around Despise. Yeah, that wouldn't be the worst thing. But you might just take oh, the Primeval Titan just, and shuffle the rest away. Looks like the, he did just take the Primeval Titan. And he is just going to ramp a growth here. Yeah, it's pretty good that was a ramp and growth and not a Farsi, because he really needed that second green source. Yeah. Uh, did I see the cavern in his hand, though? Or I think he does have a cavern. I'm not sure, though. I thought that might have been a glimmer post. I'm, I'm not 100%. We do see the Solemn yeah. come down for Kyle. So Kyle's going to get his fixing in as well. I think at this point, if I was Kyle, I'd probably try to get like probably a white source because that way you can act, you can at least use your vault of the archangel. But he's gonna go for blue because uh, I know he has the image in hand. Yeah, you definitely want image is super powerful in this matchup for either player. I mean, whenever there's a six six in play. So. Brian's going to be wanting to stick the Primeval Titan this turn. Uh, plays the Cavern, most likely saying Giant. And we do see Prime Time. Let's see, I think he's, he's probably just going to get the Wolf Run and the Ink Moth Nexus here. Um, Alright, he's going to go with the Glimmer Posts. Glimmer Post. He's thinking it over. Yeah, you really don't need. Uh, oh, he's, he's just going to go with uh, Copper Line Gorges, Copper line probably. Gorge and Ink Moth. Ink Moth. Okay. I don't think he has the Wolf Run in hand, does he? Um, don't believe so. That's interesting. 
Like he's, he might be playing around Ghost Quarter or something. Possibly. Looks like Kyle is just short of that six mana he'd want for the drop down to Worm Coil, which would be pretty good for him right here. Could trade with a Primeval Titan as well as get him three guys when it goes away. Looks like he's just going to image the Primeval Titan. Well, if he doesn't get Ghost Quarter here, I'm pretty sure he's not playing Ghost Quarter in his deck. Yeah, uh, that seemed like a pretty easy target, especially if you know the opponent shows you the Ink Maw. That it obviously he's going to be running the Wolf the, the Wolf Run. Cracks in with the Solemn, but uh, Brian's just. Happy to take it, goes down to 19. Yeah, he knows that uh, Kyle's playing Dismember. I think they were just, just pointing out that he did gain a life from the Glimmer Post there, so he is at 19. Do you see uh, Cyan Blood. Kyle Cyan Blood's targeting himself, I'm assuming? Probably, yeah. Going down to 18 on that. Well, I think he drew another image off it. Pretty good for him right here. Well, he does have the Wolf Run in his hand. A, yeah, so he does have it in hand, which explains why he didn't grab it last Pretty turn. good here. Does swing in. Looks like Kyle's gonna pay for going to 14 to play the dismember, and then they go to block it with his image. He's going a little fast here. He might. I mean, Brian could have something. So he's gonna gain two off that glimmer post. So he is back up to 21. So. And sometimes when you jump ahead, I mean, you gotta let your opponent. You know, they, they do have a chance to respond to certain things. So it looks like, yeah, I'm after the dismember, he's just going to target the, the image. The image in response? Yep. So I guess at least he'll get in for one here. Yeah, he does just get in for one, sending Kyle down to 13. And it looks like another... Rampant growth. He's going to try to find all the lands in his deck. Yeah, he's, he's on his way to kill him with Bonfire. That's interesting. I think Brian had another image in his hand. Uh, could have gotten... does have the other image. Maybe he just wants to hold back for whatever reason. Well, it's it's kind of weird because uh, you it's not really good after like a Wrath if he's trying to hold it after Wrath. Yeah. I, uh, he might have a reason. I just can't think of one. Looks like Kyle has his, his mana line up for something. I'm guessing he's going to try to drop a Worm Coil here. Thinks it over, looks at the board state. You know, I, I'm looking at you know these boards here, and like almost every card I've seen so far is going to rotate. Yeah, because it shows just how powerful the uh, Scars of Mirrodin block is in this format. Yeah, it's definitely the Scars of Mirrodin cards as well as the the Titans from M M11, M12. I mean, they're I feel like they're going to make a big void, but it's going to make a change in the metagame, which I'm looking forward to. I see the only real cards from uh, Innistrad Block are Vault and uh, Cavern of Souls. Uh, true. Looks like probably just gonna swing in here for two, like no reason. Like if he's not gonna be blocking with it, might as well just swing in and get a little damage through. He 
still just contemplating whether or not he wants to drop down that worm coil. I think he might he might be thinking about black sun zenith yeah, here. Yeah, he, he could black sun for six. Um, definitely a good way to get rid of that primeval titan. Looks like he's just gonna go for the worm coil. He's got another one in his hand, so yeah. So Kyle responds with a six six of his own. But I, I think at this point, if he has enough ramp, he can try to get him with the ink moth of the wolf run. Yeah. He, he's a bit short right now, but it looks like he just drew another prime time. If you would have played that other, uh, uh, the phantasmal image, he could he could kill him right here with the ink moth nexus and wolf run. Sizing up his mana here. Maybe he, he's trying to see if he has enough mana here. I think he might have enough for the bonfire if he wants to use it. Well, if he bonfires here, uh, Kyle will still have a death touch creature for the. True, Primate but Titan. He, he wouldn't have a 6 6 creature. Yeah. I mean. But uh, he, he could be just lining up his mana for Wolf Run. I think he's just thinking over his options. Mm hmm. Brian's only got one copy of Ink Moth Nexus, so he can't run it into... You'd only want to run to their opponent's Ink Moth Nexus if it's for lethal. Yeah. So, okay. He's tapping for something. Hmm, he's going to activate Ink Moth so Nexus So he does here. activate Ink Moth. Okay. Obviously, Kyle can just activate his Ink Maw. Looks like he has another Primeval Titan in his hand. He, he did. He drew it this turn. Looks like Kyle does block. So, just looking at the math here, I don't believe he has enough for lethal on the swing, and that is his only Ink Moth. Yeah, he can only do uh, Trample Over for 8 here. Like he's getting his mana open. I believe you are correct. He can trample over for eight here, but that's his only source of infect in the entire deck. Yeah, that's that's kind of a weird play. I don't think I would have made that. I think I would just would have held off. Um, I, I talked to him about it. He it, he thought he might have had another one. Um, but yeah, this is definitely just not the best play. Even though Kyle does go to eight infect, uh, there's no other way for Brian to deal with any more poison damage to him. Not only that, but he completely tapped out almost... Well, he, he does have enough for the image. He did save enough for that. Uh, but he could have played a second Prime Evil Titan here. Um, but, you know, like, image pretty much just as good. But I believe he did copy the Worm Coil here. Yeah. Alright, we'll be taking a quick break. We'll be right back with part two of this game in just one moment.